And some of the cars then, the Tempest had a transaxle. Then they took that Tempest and then like Mickey Thompson or somebody, and they had a fiberglass cover factory that covered that transaxle inside in the back of the car. Oh, okay. Then they put took this out and put a 421 heavy duty in it, high performance, and raced this with a V8 in it and a Tempest as a super stock car. Because it would bolt right it in. It would just basically bolt right in. Just about. That was the car was wide enough, the engine compartment was wide enough for it. Well, I mean, that power steering pump sticks out just as much as it would on a big, on a, on big a v, car. Yeah, on a big car, yeah. That's wild. So I'm really lucky to have all this stuff that all matches. Oh, yeah, because digging up all these accessories and so would on. would be impossible. Yeah, right. Especially the intake manifold and the exhaust system. Yeah. That is so interesting. What a different yeah. looking. And even the casting and hold the thing. And the alternator went on here too. The alternator possibly went right here. Yeah. In this area, yeah. And run by a belt. Probably the same yeah. belt maybe. Because it only has a single belt there. Yeah. A single belt here. A single pulley here. Probably the alternator sit right here. Uh-huh. Like this. And then it would run that with one belt. 